I'm Anil Kumar and now we will see how tangent ratio is linked with slope of a line. The question here is find the acute angle found by the line and the x-axis. So we are given a line here so that's the line and with the x-axis it makes an angle. This is the acute angle. Let me call this angle as alpha. The other one is an obtuse angle. Let me give it another name here and let's say the obtuse angle is beta for us. Okay. Now the question here is to find measurement of <coughs> <coughs> the question here is to find the acute angle formed by the line and x-axis that means this angle alpha. How are you going to find that? Now in this particular situation you find that we have x and y axis they intersect at origin O they so we have a right triangle. So let us label this right triangle with y intercept at 4, let it be point A, O is the center and let B be the point at 2, the x intercept. So we are considering the triangle AOB and this one is a right triangle, right? So it is a right triangle. So if you see from the angle alpha side, we can say tan of alpha is equals to opposite side, opposite side is 4 units divided by the adjacent side which is 2 units is 4 over 2 or tan alpha is equals to 2 right now what is alpha equals to alpha equals to tan inverse of 2 so we can use calculator find the answer so alpha is tan inverse of 2 which is equals to 63.434 so we get 63.434 rounding to let us say one decimal place we get the answer as 63.4 so that is the acute angle so we found that the acute an angle here is so that's the acute angle so acute angle equals to 63.4 degrees correct now sometimes we may ask you to find the obtuse angle correct so in that case what should you do so once you find the acute angle you know the obtuse angle beta in this case will be 180 degrees minus 63.4 and then you can write that down right so it is 180 minus 63.4 right so that is equal to in decimal let's write to one decimal place 116.6 degrees correct so in this particular case the obtuse angle is 116.6 six degrees okay so that is how you can find the acute angle or the obtuse angle or the angle which the line makes with the horizontal x-axis right now as an exercise uh, let us change this question a bit and then you find acute angle formed by the line and the x-axis you find what it makes with y-axis okay so let, let that be the question for you okay so try it out thank you and all the best